Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video today. I am really on a roll. I don't remember the last time that I had to make, you know, more than one or maybe two videos in a day, but there's just so many new things that keep coming out and I just want to share them with all of you. So if you haven't seen the other two videos that I posted today, the first one is the update video where I just went over, well, today's update. Star Stable changed the Morgan Horses coat colors, but I'm pretty sure they didn't actually put them in game. I think I just saw a statement that they made, which means that, you know, the Morgan Horses coat colors are still the same even though SSO changed them. I'm not really surprised that we didn't actually get that in the update, like, good job SSO. They also changed an area in Moorland. It looks really, really pretty right now. And they also changed the horses' animations, like the transitions and stuff like that, which is kind of cool, but I guess I'm really gonna have to get used to that. So yeah, that was the first video that I posted. And then the other one is a spoiler about the Pentabian horses. I was so shocked when I saw the Pentabian horses in the spoilers. Like, we just got the spoilers for the Lipizzaner horses and now we're already going to get the Pentavians right after them. That's really interesting. So if you want to get more information about the Pentavians, see all of the code colors and all of that, make sure to check out the video that I posted right before this one, so the second video of the day. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Lipizzaner horses. All of their coats, there's quite a few and there's a big variety their mane and tail styles and, you know, their movements, all of that. Star Civil Spoilers also just posted some spoilers, I guess, of some new clothing that we're going to get. Oh yeah, we also got spoilers of some new tag. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe. It really means a lot and now let's get into it. So there's seven different coat colors and let's just go through them. I'm not even gonna try to name them, so we're just gonna talk about them like this. I think this is the most standard one, the light gray or white, I guess. This one has really pretty brown eyes, but aside from that, I don't really know what to say. Yesterday when I posted my video and people were talking that they look so much like the Pertrons, I didn't really get it. But later on, there's a coat that looks the same as one of the Pertrons, like the Dapol Grey. The similarities are so obvious, like, wow, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I like this coat. The horses do look a little fat, I guess, but I don't think SSO is going to change it, though. Have we decided yet? Are we gonna, like, try to do it? Because then we have to, like, comment under all of their posts just telling them to change it i mean if we really want to i guess we can because there's been many times they that they said they wouldn't change something but then because enough people said something about it they did like with the jurvik frisian and now with the morgans so you know just let's just make a poll and let's see if we're gonna annoy them to death <laughs> Should I just make a poll and see if we should annoy them? Then there's this code, which looks pretty similar, but has a bunch of little like dots, spots. I don't think they're dapples. And like less warm toned, I guess less light eyes. But it still looks really pretty in my opinion. It's really adorable. Then there's this dapple gray one that has like a color gradient in its mane and tail. It's kind of interesting. I like the dapples. I don't really like the leg situation, the leg coloring. Also, all of the coats of the Lipizzaner horses are mirrored, which is a big, big disappointment. But I think this really just shows how much they were rushing. It, I, I just have no words for that. Then here is this kind of coat color. I really don't know what I would call it. I do think it looks nice, but 
like this horse just really does not remind me of a lipizaner it just it really does look like a pertron or some other draft horse like i mean i always say that i'm not really a big horse expert but even i like i i don't even know what to say i kind of like the coat on its own but honestly no i i don't like the undertones I do kind of like the legs of this one. One of the hooves is differently colored. And then I like the socks. They're cute, but I think that's about it, to be honest. And then there's this one. When I saw this one, I was like, I get you. When, you know, yesterday when I was looking at the comments, everyone was saying how the horses look so much like the Pertrons. And I didn't really see it but now I, I i don't even know what to say like this is literally the pertron that we already have in game which is again kind of disappointing i don't really like this kind of coat i think i'm just gonna stick with the color with the solid colors when i'm going to buy one should i even be buying one probably not but i still want to have one lipizaner but yeah let's just continue on there are two other coat colors one of them is this probably bay one it is a complete recreation of the one that we already have in game i have this one and honestly it looks nice but i think i am going to buy a white or i guess a light gray one for gen 3 because this one, I, I'm just not even gonna feel like I'm riding a Lipizaner if I get one of these. Though, I, I really like the code, but I just, I cannot. And then for the last, there's this black one. I, again, I, just, I, I do like the code, but I'm not even gonna feel like I'm riding a Lipizaner if I get one of these two. So these are all of the coat colors. Let me know which one is your favorite and let me know what you think about them overall. Honestly, looking at them from kind of afar, like the pictures I have on my screen are really small now. Their legs look so short and then their like body, like it looks so disproportionate. I don't even know what to say. Like I do like the coats, but the model is just a little weird i guess so here are all of the mane and tail styles this is the one that really reminds me of some military guy i do actually like this main style but i think i would buy it on some other draft horse if i were to do so then there's this one which is basically the previous one but really short i don't think i'd buy it but i still think it looks nice then there's this braided mane style and kind of braided tail and then there's the like small braids i really like this mane style but i don't like how you know they also braid the tail i wish we could buy the mane and tail style separately i think this is something that, commu that the, the community has been asking for for such a long time and i don't know why sso doesn't want to do it then there's this short mane and tail style i honestly kind of like it maybe i'm weird but i i don't know i just it's kind of ugly but i like it at the same time i don't know and then there's the kind of long mane style and then like braided i don't even know what to call this kind of tail this kind of tail basically and then the same kind of tail style and then small braided mane style. And that's it for the mane and tail styles as well as the coat colors. We don't really know how much the horses are going to cost yet, but again, I'd say at least 950 if I had to guess. Um, but I guess we're just going to have to wait for our Lord and Savior CC Creations. She's probably going to post a video about them today where we'll get more information but anyway we already have some videos of their special gates their animations and movements and all of that from star stable but i also found some other ones so i'm just gonna show them to you now 
And later I'm also going to talk about some clothing and tag spoilers that we also got today, so make sure to stick around. So there's two pairs of leg wraps or I guess leg protectors and leg wraps. I honestly really like how they look. Both of them have a really clean design and they're solid colors, which is really nice. Both of them are white. And then we also get this interesting looking saddle. Do we have something like this in SSO yet? I mean, it looks really interesting. It's really detailed. I like that they're doing something different because you know, there's only so many different shades of brown that you can put on a dressage saddle, even though I do love my brown dressage saddles. I'm glad that they're making something like this. Like, there's really so many details on this saddle, though it is kind of simple, but at the same time, it's not. And then there's also this kind of fur saddle pad, which also looks really nice. I like the color, but I don't actually think i'm gonna wear anything out of here aside from maybe the leg wraps if they're not gonna cost me a fortune so here are some cowboy hats i really like that they're solid colors and the cloud details look really nice in my opinion there's this what is it like gray like really really light blue one there's this creamy brown one which is really nice and then there's this like really like what baby blue one Mm, I really like the clouds on this one. Are they even clouds? Yeah, they're clouds. Then there's this, like, what is it? Really light purple shirt. I do like the details on it. I think it looks pretty, though, again, I'm just gonna stick to my sweaters. Then there's this, I really forgot what they're called, but this kind of colorful crop top, which looks nice. But I think when we get the updated characters, we're not gonna be able to have crop tops anymore so i don't know then there's this one which looks pretty similar to the previous one but it i feel like it's more pastel colored compared to that one but i think it looks really nice then there's also the cowboy pants with the same like pattern oh, what is it called again i really like tie-dye yeah that's it the tie-dye cowboy pants that are more pastel colored I honestly really like the colors though I like I never would wear this kinds of pants so I'm not gonna buy them but I think they look pretty there's also this kind of I also forgot what like fishnet fishnet gloves I think they look cool though again not my style there's white ones and blue ones and then there's some more normal gloves with again this kind of cloud pattern as well as a moon in the middle and then there's some boots that go along with everything else. I honestly think everything looks really nice, though again, it's really not my style, but I like that SSO is doing something for the Western community. I feel like, you know, I feel like they really didn't give them much back in the day, so I'm glad that they're getting more now. And there's also this tag set which I think look really nice. I honestly really like the leg wraps and the uh, saddle pad. 
they're really pretty and then again the tie-dye everything I don't know if this goes together necessarily but I still think it looks kind of nice then there's some more like fur saddle pads there's the black one the white one as well as dark brown one and also this like rug type saddle pads they look really interesting there's the black one the purple one and the blue one and some more iberian saddles there's this like really dark and kind of not the most colorful brown one white one the more like warm toned brown and i guess the same colors with the gold details the black brown white and again brown so anyway this is gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed as always let me know what you think about all of the things that i talked about and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye